All right, you guys are here to find out the best way to give yourself a subcutaneous shot. I'm Dr. Richard Fryer, plastic surgeon in Salt Lake City, Utah. Usually with the prescription, the pharmacist that fills the prescription for you is going to instruct you to give the shot in the abdominal area because it's just simply easier uh, to access some kind of subcutaneous fatty tissue. However, since we're going to be doing a tummy tuck, we don't want any injections in that area. If you're giving yourself the shot, there are several areas um, that are a little bit easier. They include the outer thigh and the inner thigh. If you're going to have someone else give you the shot, um, they can use those same areas or it's a little bit easier for someone else to get back to the buttock area or another one is the back of the arm. First thing that we want to do is just familiarize yourself with um, the, the product. It comes in these pre-filled syringes. You don't have to draw it up. It is something that is prescribed to you like this. This is enoxaparin sodium, the generic for the blood thinner Lovenox. The injector is uh, uh, protected with this cap over the needle. The hard thing here is to get this cap off. It actually is surprisingly tough to pull off. You grip this firmly and pull just like that in order to have the needle showing. There are usually about five or six little teeny tiny drops of the medication that come out from the surface of the needle. And that's not a problem. It's not uh, going to waste. It's just something that you can expect. Now you're ready to give yourself a shot. This is where there are several tricks that can come in handy that can help make this shot a lot more comfortable and less painful. Make sure your skin is clean. Make sure that you pinch the skin firmly. And you'll notice that as I pinch my skin, it creates an area of the subcutaneous fat where the needle can enter more easily. This is intended to be a subcutaneous shot into the fatty tissue uh, just beneath the surface of your skin and not intended to be into the muscle. So please make sure that you are aware of that. So I want you guys to know I put on shorts to show you how to inject into your own thigh. My skin is clean, so now I'm going to pinch the skin firmly. You can see that there is now a bulge of just fat underneath the surface of the skin that is ready for the injection. You want to move the needle quickly, so sometimes either using your fingers, as I'm going to do, or moving your wrist is going to be the, the easiest way to use the speed of the needle to penetrate the skin. So here we go. There's the needle. I honestly did not really even feel the needle. Felt a little teeny tiny something, okay? Now, as you inject, this particular medication does have a little bit of a sting. It's not bad, shouldn't be surprising, but yes, it will have a little bit of a sting. You just press the plunger gently enough in order to inject into the tissue and then withdraw the needle. You notice not bleeding, usually don't need a band-aid, anything like that to cover the area. You just let that tissue relax. You will sometimes develop a very small bruise in the area where you give yourself this blood thinning medication. All right, now you've given yourself the shot. What do you do with the syringe? The syringe has a built-in safety mechanism. You do not want to push against the plunger very, very firmly while you're giving yourself the shot. You just push gently. After it has been removed, if you press firmly against the plunger of the syringe, there we go, then a safety guard comes out to protect the tip of the needle so that it is not going to uh, injure anyone else. 
So let's just review the, the quick steps that you need to go through. First, make sure that the surface of the skin is clean. Second, pinch the area where you're going to get the shot firmly in your fingertips. Third, make sure that you use the speed of the needle to penetrate the surface of the skin and not a slow, steady pressure against the surface of the skin. I hope this is helpful and I'm hopeful that all of my patients feel more comfortable about giving themselves these shots.